For me, it was uh, a the knowledge that the staff have of the service users um, so it gives a very personalised element to the service and um, so people feel like an individual they're not just coming into a big group and I, th um, I think they feel valued um, for that um, and because of the level of knowledge that they have then they are able to consider whether or not they feel it's appropriate to refer other people on to other agencies obviously with their consent involving their families um, and without that individual knowledge of those uh, service users, you wouldn't be able to, to deliver on that. Can you tell me, if you weren't here, what, what do you think you would be doing today? Not very much. I'd just be sitting in the house. I wouldn't get, be getting very many people to see me. What do you think is the most important quality that someone who works in a, in a, in a centre like this needs or has to have? The most important quality, in my opinion, will be being center, personal center, and having good values, being not judgmental, being able to listen and communicate. Sometimes, even with myself being not from here, people may say, oh, what did you just say? But not being offended, just basically repeat the question in a different way, or maybe louder, so patience, it's very important. and. Remember that we are here for the service users, so make sure that they are happy and I, again we are maximizing their strengths and potentials. Can you tell me, how often do you come here, Peggy? Every, every uh, Thursday. You come here every Thursday? Uh -huh. um, enjoy coming here? Yes, teach out of the house. Oh. We have some nice times. Oh. I'll come here a few times. What, what do you like best about coming here? Well, they're always friendly. They've always, they've always got something to do. And they see to all with problems. They do their best. The, the club? Hey, well, the people that sit in the club, they're all, all nice to, to meet. And I quite like that. And when, when I first come here, I thought, with a right, a right friendly, friendly lot. Um, I think for me it was also very much about the attitude of the staff. They were ex some staff feel uh, quite nervous about the care inspector coming in. This was their first inspection after registration. Um, they were nervous but they were extremely good at what they did and that came through very quickly. Um, they ignored us which was fantastic and um, that then meant the, the service users um, responded much more to the staff so that helped us to see exactly what was going on in that relationship and you could see that the service users and the staff there was a bond of trust there um, and that there was a bond of um, feeling um, wanted and feeling that you belonged to something. Um, so I think the staff attitude, and certainly in speaking to them, their values are very strong. Um, and from the point of view of uh, their knowledge about how to promote independence, um, it's not about doing for someone, it's about enabling them and finding a way of supporting them to achieve those things, if indeed that's what they want to achieve. I had cooking classes and all the rest. <laughs> Wasn't it fussy for that? But they have cooking classes. What did you cook? Um, well, I made scones and things like that. And were they good? Ah, they were lovely. Oh, they were good. Everybody liked them. 